on feeling. Um, we're going to start off with our yellow. Our yellow. Oh my god. I do just ever feel like it's just not the day. Okay, I'm, I'm dragging that out of here. Let's 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 be more positive. In the bottom left hand corner, we have our pink pros player representing Alien Invasion, playing from Korea. He is patience. Very excited to have him here with us. In the upper right hand corner, the Green Terran player from Cascade. It is complain. So how is everyone in the chat doing here? Um, a shout out to Aviv Watt who actually just hit the um, hit the uh, follow button. Again, following is the best way to support SCG Improve because then you can come back and see us again. Even better is if you follow and you and you allow and you unblock your ad block from this channel because then because then you get ads when you come and watch us. Yeah, and then we can run more tournaments. Um, we uh, we actually can. Um, we've got an interesting opening from Complain. He's actually opened with a uh, gas first, so um, a gas first from Complain, but he's going straight into a factory and then just a reactor. So. Kind of interesting. It looks as though he's just going to get like a couple of mines out of this factory. It's it's, it's an interesting opening. So keep an eye on how this goes. As uh, back at home, just actually double gas with patience. So looking as though he's going to be aggressive here um, fairly soon. Now uh, usually we just see one gas expands, or at least nowadays we do. Uh, but double gas would suggest maybe a very fast Stargate or something along those lines um, coming out of him very soon because that gas is already creeping up there. So um, so yeah. I feel like I was about, yeah, what was I saying, I was, I was saying, yeah, the ads, they do actually help us, and I know everyone's like, oh my god, Twitch's ad revenue is awful, you shouldn't, it's it's just not good, well, like, I don't know, it's alright, but um, they do help, and that will be proven when you guys see season 4 of the SC2 ITL, I think, I hope, um, it should be pretty fun. I'm I'm still in two minds. I still don't really know whether I want whether we should do a winter league or not. Um, I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk to you guys because we just got a stargate on the way, pretty much as expected. We'll talk we'll talk about the game when the when the oracle's out, shall we? We've got a couple of hellions actually, which could be interesting. Um, I guess he actually started reacting them out, so I, I didn't actually think that was gonna be the case. Um, he's gone into is that starport? No, it's another barracks. He's gone fully into gas again, as he is starting to produce some mines. So. I guess maybe we should talk about the game now, not when the Oracle comes out. As oh, he lets a Hellion by, so a scout comes down. He sees the Stargate. Uh, that's a big loss there for patience. He loses some pretty important. Uh, he gives away some pretty important information. Uh, as uh, one probe goes down, two probe, three probe. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, it's just a couple of probes. So nothing too major here. Uh, the main thing of this was that it was scoured. So um, a little bit of a shame now. We should have mines. Around here somewhere. Where are you, two sneaky little mines? They haven't across the map. Okay, well one of them is. Where's the other one? That's a marine. There's, there it is. Okay, so he's gonna hide behind the, uh, behind the refinery here. Um, of course, just stay hidden and uh, make sure that his opponent cannot see it uh, when he comes in. Can't see that little dot on the ground to try and catch him off guard. So Oracle is heading across the map, looking to do a little bit of damage very shortly. Oh no! <gasps> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Is it close enough? Yes. It's beautiful. Great snipe by Complain. What a what a fab little opening here. It's um, yeah, it's been interesting so far, right? I mean, Complain, he um, he he really. He, it's an interesting opening. A couple of Hellions and a couple of Mines. Very safe against the Oracle opening, actually. So um, very safe opening in general because you have that factory out if you need it. And uh, yeah, Stim pack now on the way. So I mean, Stim's not even that delayed either. So. Things are actually looking quite nice for us, Complain. I quite like his position. He completely negated uh, the initial Oracle from Patience, killed it, um, which is which is fantastic. A Oracle is now heading across the map here. Um, six Marines positioned in the mineral line, though, and that should be more than enough to turn this away. And uh, doesn't even get a single kill. So at least he keeps this one alive, which uh, means it can be used for... He can use it, you know, a little bit later in the game, but for now, he doesn't really want to... You know, for now, there isn't actually too much else he can do with it, right? You know... There's, there's not that much you can actually do, so... So, yeah, um... Yeah, I mean, no, because just sitting around, he could maybe try and come... I mean, even a turret being added on here, so completely just really just preparing himself to deflect this oracle from all angles, taking no damage from it at all. Patience's follow-up uh, rogue facility's finished here, actually. He's gone into a forge now, too. So it looks like there's just going to be a standard play from him, and the rogue will confirm that, going into the Colossi tech tree. 
Um, you know, pretty much standard stuff we expect from a Protoss player. Straight into the uh, Aerobe Bay, straight into Colossus. As uh, Twilight Council is on the way as well. It's just over half. Uh, well, coming up to halfway done. So, um, yeah, quite fast Twilight Council. Maybe we see some Blink. Um, maybe we see. Uh, yeah, maybe, I guess maybe Blink. But I don't really know what else he could be going for this quickly with the Twilight Council because he doesn't need it for plus two, of course. Um, that being said, he's going to be very strapped for, for uh, gas here because, I mean, he's got he's got no gas at all. Um, so there's no way he's starting a Colossi anytime soon. And then, if, you know, he's, he's got to get for Extended like, Thermal Lance as well. So, um, yeah, this Oracle's still not really achieved too much. No kills on it here. A couple of drops coming across the map for Complainers and Observer heads across the map also. So uh, we'll see if these maps I get to. Oh, sorry, okay, Revelation is actually on these. So, um... Patience actually knows where these medevacs are, which means it's, you know, it's it's okay. All of these units actually been revelationed. So, um, Patience knows what's up. He knows he's going to send his oracle out once again. He's actually going to be able to force a cancel on his third command center, which is pretty cute. Um, that's something which Complain has not really accounted for. This phone overcharge comes down here straight away. Nice couple of force fields. One more would be perfect, and we actually see that one more. Um, but not before a few units actually already start to get away, and... Well, he keeps moving in here, but he takes down one Stalker, and now he's going for sentries, but well, he gets a single sentry and a single Stalker. I don't think that's worth while the Oracle has delayed this third command center. Um, has actually never run out of energy as well as uh, Marine Stim's away to stay alive. Uh, drop coming into the main base, though, and his patient's expecting this. Well, that's our question right now. And, um, and yeah, I mean, he, he deals with it pretty easily, so not too much of a problem. Uh, Complain actually just going to unload here. Now, is that the first Colossus? Well, it is. So, so I mean, he, he patience has invested all of his gas initially into Forge, into Twilight, into the Blink, uh, and only now is he going to start actually. Ooh, just gets away there with that medevac. Uh, so only now does he actually really start um, making Colossi. So his first course is about to pop out. He's actually survived now, basically the scariest stage of this game, I would imagine. So, um, so yeah, complaint coming across the map. This uh, Oracle is uh, finally up to four kills. Looks as though he got in there somewhere. And did a little something. Third base has been significantly denied, I would say. And uh, Complain will have the finishing up here very shortly. Plus one attack now on the way too. Interesting to go from armor and then actually change into attack. Um, especially when you've got the Twilight Council already finished. I wonder if... Hmm, he's going to take the third base. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, I guess he's just not going to be playing a very zealot heavy composition. Without a zealot heavy composition, there isn't as much need. For that now, Blink is available here, so these medevacs have to be a lot more careful than they were being beforehand. And um, complain, it doesn't really have that large of an army, really. He's actually lost a lot of his army kind of doing this harassment up until now. So, um, so yeah, a couple of um, some mines coming forward, Marine Marauder coming forward as well. Third base should be held quite 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 easily, though. I, the man, I, I, it's quite hard to see this going down. Some more stalkers walked in, and uh, here we go. A couple of force fields coming down. They're pretty nice force fields. Medivacs coming over to try and help. Ooh, some huge mine hits, though, on a lot of these. And actually, he loses one of his Colossi. So um, that's a little bit of a shame there by Patience. Um, I don't actually know how he really, really, really lost that. He went down very quickly. Maybe target fired by some Marauders. He's actually just... Oh, my God, he's going to lose that. I was going to say he's just going to keep his other one alive. But he actually ended up losing that. And... Um, well, 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 so, loses two Colossi, that actually wasn't all too bad of a trade then for Patience, I mean, resources loss is definitely in favour of our, of our Paros player, but, for complain, I mean, losing, losing two, killing two Colossi is huge, it completely resets the tech of Patience, he can't switch into Temple Ar Archives as soon as he would like, because he's actually going to have to spend more money building more Colossi than before. It actually makes an SCV pool extremely viable, because, where, where's the splash damage going to come from, right? So it's um, a little bit interesting here. Uh, Patience is doing a little bit of damage. She uh, has actually picked off a couple of medevacs, which is pretty cute. And uh, I mean, where is Complain's army? One, I believe it's in the medevac over here. That's about it, though. So did he just lose a bunch of army? Oh, did he just lose some medevacs, which are going for a drop to the stalkers? And now have I just missed that? Oh my god, that would be embarrassing. Um, I think that may be what happened because it's just completely jumped up in uh, resources lost. So. I think um, I think that's the case. I think he's just lost like 20 supply of units. Stimming in here with a, uh, with a few marines and uh, going to get a little bit of damage done, but I mean very very minimal again. I mean the army is in position. Phone overcharge is a little bit preemptively. I feel not really necessary. There's a probe actually coming up this right hand side of the map and uh, starting to place some pylons. As uh, here comes the rest of the army once again. But it's not that large on the ground again. He's been thrown away. Uh, small amounts of it uh, quite frequently here. We're actually seeing hellbats mixed in as well. Very interesting. 
Uh, the complaint really seems to be liking these um, kind of different sort of um, ooh, catch stalker. Um, he likes to, uh, ooh, catches a viking, gets another down to low hit points, loses a stalker, but probably worthwhile. I'm just gonna say, complaint likes these interesting compositions. It would seem as um, if he had concussive of shells, he actually would have caught a stalker or two there. Maybe depends on what the link uh, cooldown was looking like. A couple of Varklons gonna be joining this army now as uh, we have two Colossi and again it's not that many. We have mm, five Vikings, one of them's quite injured, so I don't know how you know you don't know how effective that will be. And coming forward now pops a guardian shield. Patience is um just sitting back and uh, waiting on this third Nexus for now. So, um, no, I mean, I mean, not much going on complaining. A little bit supply blood, three deep as a battle finish up. He's about to get plus two attack, and that's pretty huge. He's going to have a, I mean, look at that. The upgrade lead is actually a, a cr crazy right now. As uh, Patience comes forward, he loses another stock. I'm actually, how does Patience hold this off? I mean, this is a huge army. He's got Hellbats mixed in. Oh my god, let's see Let's see how he can do this. Uh, the Vikings come forward straight away. One cross eye on the way down. There has been a third cross eye joining the party. Is the Hellbats enough to take down the Zelts here? Well, the Zelts are beginning to melt. There's a lot of Marines left over. The Colossi are dead, and that means it's basically... Well, it's kind of interesting because Patience kind of won the top side of the fight, but kind of lost the bottom side. So we actually still have some pretty big armies here from both players. And as you can see, blinks forward with his uh, with these stalkers, and he starts to take down a couple of medevacs. So patience is slowly turning this around. I think originally complain was winning, but picking off these medevacs is absolutely huge, and he keeps pushing them back. One more medevac, maybe he's actually going to keep on fighting. He needs to get away once the zelts go down, though. And uh, there is a lot of firepower in this Terran army, which is moving forward once again. Patience maybe overextended ever so slightly. More zelts coming in, just one arc on very low shields, and apart from that, it's just a gateway you uh, just a gateway army. Not really much tech in here, as uh, these rocks are going to start getting taken down. It looks as though uh, Complain going to open another pathway to attack, and well, a couple more Archons now going to come in. We have an Immortal which has been added on. We've got Storm on the way too. Can Patience hold out that long? He's about 30 supply down here, and he's about to get plus two. Oh, he's going to lose two Archons really quickly, and that's not good for him at all. That was a big part of his army there as uh, Medivacs are being targeted down once again. Zelts are beginning to connect as, uh, you know, Archon comes forward to try and get some splash damage into this. You just coming in from the right hand side for our Terran player and that's going to start picking off these Stalkers because there's nothing to tank for them. And Complain is taking down everything right now. Another Stalker goes down. Uh, I mean, more Zelts been warped in, but there's the last Archon. Storm's not going to finish in Patience. He doesn't have time. All he has left to do is tap out and... Complain takes game number one of our winners match and ends up one map away from qualifying to the round of eight of the SC2.